sont notre slogan, nous sommes les agents du changement. Hi, I am Janet O'Flynn and I was here to build the program as Acting Dean. The program has been here for a year and a half. The program begins with a nursing OTPT general health studies year first, which involves uh, general nursing and OTPT health courses in basic sciences. It's a, a very strong program that builds citizenship and self-esteem and professional behaviors. In the second year, the students differentiate. They choose either occupational therapy or physical therapy. And then there are two separate degree programs after that. We've called our program FSRL, or FESREL, they call it here. FESREL. And it stands for Faculté des Sciences de Réhabilitation de Léogan. Il y a beaucoup, il y avait beaucoup de personnes handicapées et il n'y avait pas de physiothérapeute pour travailler avec eux. Et là, j'ai dit oui, ce serait mieux d'aller étudier des sciences de réhabilitation. Et j'ai eu la chance de trouver cette école à Léongane qui est FSRL. Je me sens bien quand je sais que je fais partie de, de la vie quotidienne de, de quelqu'un. C'est pour ça que j'ai choisi l'ergothérapie. One of the big concerns internationally has been how to provide better and better health care in countries that are hard to reach or under-resourced, countries that don't have access to health care. There has been a lot of research in international development that says that when you put a, a team of highly qualified professionals together in a country, that you the level of health care goes up. And that it's important to get those, to make teams like that that are interdisciplinary and send them out into rural areas. Those are two things that upgrade the quality of health care in any country that is under-resourced that doesn't have the infrastructure right now. When we get this, these graduates out, first of all, going into the rural areas, they're going to make a difference quickly. It's going to make a big difference in what can be done in Haiti. And that is important for the rest of the world because these therapists will be able to put together reports and projects about how they're approaching their work and will be able to present at international conferences so that other people in other countries that have similar needs will have a model to use. FSRL, pour moi, c'est un souffle d'espoir pour le maintien et, et pour, 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 pour l'avenir de la réhabilitation en Haïti. These therapists are being taught that way to understand the big picture, to understand that what they're doing, to, to do metacognition, to think about what they're doing and not just to do it. But the FSRL se donne à fond et donne les connaissances et solides pour pour qu'on ait euh, pour pour que ces étudiants puissent avoir des connaissances pour apporter l'aide de qualité et, et aux, aux patients qui, qui qui sont si nombreux en Haïti. The World Federation of OT has already recognized the OT program, the curriculum. So students that graduate with that degree will be recognized internationally as uh, entry-level occupational therapists. The program for physical therapy has been submitted to the World Confederation of PT and is now still under review, but uh, we will work until we have recognition for that program as well. One of the issues in international development of any kind is how to quantify the need in a place where you're working. Very roughly, the World Health Organization has said for years that 10% is about what you can count on in different countries for disability. There are about 10 million people in Haiti. That would give you about 1 million. They figure that countries with a high level of health care might have 9 or 10% and that countries without that infrastructure might have as high as 18%. Haiti falls in the group that most likely would be defined as 18%, which would be 1.8 million. Nous avions beaucoup de cas qui ont qui avaient besoin du service des physiothérapeutes alors que nous n'avions pas de physiothérapeutes. J'ai pu voir comment les personnes en Haïti souffrent des handicaps, surtout des gens qui pensent qu'ils n'ont pas beaucoup d'importance en Haïti parce qu'ils sont handicapés. Et là, je dis, c'est bon d'aller étudier cette profession pour pouvoir aider ces personnes, pour améliorer, restaurer leurs états de santé, pour leur donner l'envie de vivre. Parce que être handicapé, avoir un membre, un membre vivre avec une, un seul membre, ne veut, ne veut pas dire que la vie est finie. Mais au contraire, nous, les étudiants en FSRL, on peut donner vie avec ces jeunes personnes. Every single piece of what we've done here is made possible by gifts, by donors. We would not 
step one foot out of the house without a donor having helped us along the way. We have 13 students. Those students would not be here without donations. What I'm trying to say is it's all donations. <laughs> all the way down and it's been a, a remarkable, remarkable ride. As people ask, where is your funding coming from? Our financial support comes from our foundation. In 2014, some wonderful people in the U.S. who care about this program started a nonprofit called HRF, Haiti Rehabilitation Foundation. And the specific purpose of HRF, which is a 501c3 in New York, is to support academic education for rehab professionals. And right now that means us, FSRL. The need for funding is in so many areas from small to big. We need toner for the printer. We need paper. We need to have money to first rent a classroom. When we take our students to go out to field work, we need a van with six or more places. We need money for translators. We need something more to give our faculty. We have up to 40 faculty this year coming and paying their own airfare and paying their own lodging at the guest house, which is not that cheap. It's a level of dedication that uh, I really appreciate. FSRL is special because FSRL forms des étudiants de qualité, compétents, et ensuite il y a beaucoup d'autres professeurs des professeurs qui viennent de l'étranger qui qui nous éduquent et c'est pour cela que FSRL est très spécial pour nous et surtout et FSRL est la première faculté en Haïti qui forme des étudiants en réhabilitation. Oh, we've recently put up a way for people to do monthly funding on our website. People can do a little bit um, every month by means of PayPal or a credit card. So you can give $10 a month and it will come out to be a lot by the end of the year or if or $100 a month, whatever you have. The students are just starting a blog. It's a chance for the students to put up their own pictures and to tell their own story in their own words. Moi invite au vin gardé ça que n'a pas gagné dans FSR, la faculté de santé réhabilitation du local. Nous passer à partir de cela, on peut savoir qui a pour moi bien profession ça merci. There is also a blog that my husband and I have been keeping for a year and a half. It's called Haiti OTPT degrees at wordpress.com. There is also a Facebook page which is Haiti Rehabilitation Foundation Facebook page, and that is a place where you can connect with other people who are interested in the program as well. C'est pour moi, c'est la réalisation de, 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 de mes rêves, parce que je voulais pouvoir apporter une aide de qualité, et c'est la réponse que, que me donne la FSRL. Et c'est une faculté qui, qui marche à nos côtés, qui nous écoutent et nous avons aussi une doyenne qui, qui nous comprend et, et ça, ça, ça fait de, de notre école une école très spéciale. Some of them, they don't think they can do nothing, but we as a student at FSRL, we will tell them to, um, they could be, they could do a lot of things and they are very special. I'm excited to be here at the first steps of something that's exciting.